<laughs> dude, this episode of Arrow is just like firing off on all cylinders. Like, I love it. It's freaking amazing. Best season since uh, five. Anyway, um, so Oliver goes to uh, Nanda Parbat, like from like he said from last episode, and uh, he's like chilling, and uh, there's like he finds a campfire and he goes and freaking uh, somebody attacks him, and they have a quick little fight, and it turns out that it's Thea. So uh, Oliver tells her, "Hey, yo, I'm here because I need some information," and she's just like, "I'm sorry, fam, Nessa ain't here, so she can't help you." Then Oliver's just like, yo fam, uh, I'm gonna find a die in like a month. And uh, Thea's just like, I don't, <laughs> like, she, like she don't even give a damn. She's like, dude, you've died before. I've died before. Sarah's died before. We've been through this. I, even if you're gonna die, I'll probably bring your ass back somehow. So uh, she ain't worried about it. Um, oh yeah, uh, by the way, uh, Laurel is not in this episode. I don't know where the hell she went. Uh, we don't, We don't know what the hell she doing. Uh, uh, Diggle is with his wife Lila and uh, they're still in Hong Kong and uh, they're just like hey yo we need to go on a mission together and uh, they're gonna do that honestly I should probably just tell you what was gonna happen uh, in it. Uh, they uh, go to like I don't want to say Serbia but it was some kind of country I don't know what the hell it went and uh, there they have to like infiltrate like this terrorist dudes hide out which they do they have a dance um the point of all this is the fact that uh john diggle has like ptsd from seeing uh, earth 2 like implode or whatever the hell happened to it and then lila is just like yo um i know you saw some like scary stuff but i mean while we're here we should probably enjoy our time together so you know don't go all depressed on me and diggle is just like yeah you're right so uh they go in uh, they shoot some people in the face, and they rescue, um, I think it was, was it Bronze Tiger's son? I don't, I don't, I don't know who the hell they rescue. They rescue somebody. And, uh, that's, uh, Diggle's whole side of the story. Honestly, it was kind of pointless, to be honest, if I'm being honest. I don't know why the hell this was in the episode, but, uh, it is what it is. Um, Oliver and Thea, they go, and they're just like, hey, yo, we gotta go talk to Talia. Because uh, she probably knows something. So uh, they go and they get attacked by Tal uh, Talia's like ninja dudes. And uh, they fight them off. And then Talia's just like, yo fam, what is y'all doing in my neck of the woods? And Oliver's just like, hey yo, do you have like uh, info on the monitor? And she's just like, nah, I don't fam, I'm sorry. And then Oliver's just like, do you know where we can find it? And she's just like, yeah, we but we need to go to like, um, to like the crypts of... Uh, Nanda Parbat, where the old racial ghouls were buried. So Oliver's just like, I took this go. Then uh, Talia's just like, I fine. But, you know, this is me repaying my debt for you helping me escape prison. And Oliver's just like, I dope, let's go. So uh, they go in there and they do like this whole Indiana Jones puzzle. And uh, they find like this scroll. And uh, then they burn the scroll. And inside the scroll is this little ball thing of. But they got attacked by the Thanatos Guild. You know, like from last season, the weird dudes who like thought that um, Malcolm Merlin was like their, I don't know, king or whatever the hell. It was really weird last season. Anyway, um, they attack and they still steal the ball. But Tali is just like, hey, yo, don't worry, fam. I memorized what was written on the ball. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Like, you looked at it for two seconds, but whatever, moving past that. So Oliver's just like, hey, yo, uh, Thea, you need to go and uh, take your ass back home. And Thea's just like, uh, why? And Oliver's just like, yo, I don't want you to get hurt. You know, I ain't gonna have this argument with you. Go back, you know, this is my mission. Leave me alone with Talia. And uh, then he like walks off. So he's walking with Talia. Then uh, he does another Indiana Jones trap thing. He has to shoot an arrow at like this thing or whatever. And they go up and they find a key. Or I think it's a key. Whatever. They find something. And then Talia is just like, all right, thanks, Oliver. And stabs him in the neck with like a sleeping dart. I freaking swear. So uh, Theo wakes Oliver's ass up. Because, you know, he was taking the nap. And uh, they're just like, hey, yo, Talia stole the thing up. We need to climb this mountain to catch up with her. 
And so uh, they decided to do some rock climbing. And um, Oliver talks to Thea, and uh, he's just like, Yo, Thea, just so you know, uh, for real though, I'm off gonna die. And Thea's just like, Well, that's sad, I get it. And they sort of have like a heart to heart, and it's kind of sweet of them to do it. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it is what it is, honestly. It's just, it's kind of nice seeing them back together again, not gonna lie, since she was kind of not been doing anything for like three seasons straight, but, uh, you know, whatever. Anyway, they climb up and uh, they reach the crypt's door or whatever. But it turns out that the Thanatos guild caught up with them. And uh, they capture Talia somehow. And they're just like, aye, bros, time to go into this freaking crypt. So they walk in and uh, there's a puzzle. And they solve the puzzle and they walk into a grave. It's They open up a grave and there's like a stairs in it. And they go down and then there's another freaking puzzle or trap or whatever but this one involves fire so uh they all go down and they solve it but then Tali's just like ha ha psych and like runs off and then uh Thea's just like hey yo uh Oliver stay here take on the entire Thanatos guild by yourself I'm gonna go after um Talia so Oliver's just like bruh so anyway, he fights them off, and he kills a couple of them using uh, the fire trap, which is pretty cool. And then the leader of the Thanatos Guild, she's like, yeah, I could kick Oliver's ass. And then she gets her ass kicked in like two seconds, and then uh, the ceiling falls on her, and then she dies. And then she is also um, roasted to death with the fire, so super dead. Um, meanwhile, Thea is uh, fighting Talia. And, uh, you know, they're fighting, whatever, the Thea gets her ass kicked. And then she does some weird voodoo martial arts. And then she actually trapped Talia. And then she's choking her out. And then, uh, Talia's just like, more! And Thea's just like, Nani, what? <laughs> uh, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, that didn't happen. It would've been funny if it did, but, um, uh, you know, Talia gives up, so... <laughs> whatever. Uh, anyway, in the crypt, they find a book, and the book says that, hey, yo... Um, the monitor, right, came back and, he's, and said that, like, hey, like, if humans are evil, I'ma kill all of their ass. So, Oliver's just like, hmm, so he is a dick. About 70% confirmed. And then, uh, uh, Thea goes up to Talia and she's just like, hey, yo, uh, uh, no, let's stop fighting. Let's just roll the guild, or, you know, of assassins together. And she's just like, let's turn the guild of assassins into a guild of heroes. Which sounds stupid. <laughs> it's basically a, a league of assassins who don't kill people. Like, what the hell is that? Anyway, uh, Talia just like, I don't. Let's do it. So they go off to like go, I don't know, gallivant the globe and help people. I guess, whatever. And uh, Oliver says goodbye to uh, you know Athea, and uh, you know he's like crying and stuff. Because uh, he probably is never going to see her again. I'll be crying too. Like, damn. He's saying goodbye to all of his friends and family. That's hell is that. Damn. And then, um... Let's probably talk about the future stuff. Nothing of a, not, nothing important happens. Except that Renee's daughter gets stabbed in the back. Because she's a dumbass. And then, uh... All the future dudes get transported back to the past. And then Oliver gets trans transported back to his bunker. With, uh, you know, Diggle, Renee, and... Uh, whatever the hell the Black Canary chick's name is. And uh, so the future dudes and the present day dudes all are all in the same place and they're looking at each other like, uh, and that's how the episode ends. <laughs> like, so anyway, uh, really enjoyed the episode except for the flash forwards, which sucked. And uh, I don't know why the Diggle stuff was inserted into this episode, to be honest. It was kind of, eh, uh, whatever. The best part of the episode was freaking Oliver doing the whole Indiana Jones thing. That was, that was actually, I liked it. To be honest, I would have liked some more, like Indiana Jones, you know, uh, Tomb Raider type stuff, but it was actually pretty cool. I really liked it. So, um, yeah, please go watch. Please go watch Arrow this season. It's freaking amazing. You will love it. Trust me. It's sad that it's not getting, like, you know, high ratings or anything, but, you know, it is what it is. So, you know, please... Please, go watch it. You will not regret it. 
And uh, thank you for watching this. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and all that. And uh, goodbye.